Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wasteland 2 where we left off last time we had cleared through most of the um, base and now we're in this new citadel area. There are a lot of robots coming at us and Lex Canium decided to run ahead like a idiot again, but that's fine. Whatever, we'll deal with that in a minute. In the meantime, that is a mason cannon and it's targeting Galen, which is Ah, that's okay. I'm okay with that. There's only four work bots and an industrial work bot, so that's not too- Oh, there's more over here. And two more and just a bunch more. Whatever. We're gonna rocket some of them. We're not gonna use any of our big, big rockets, just our medium-sized rocket. So I just want- Oh, we can't quite reach. Uh... Alright, we'll deal with that later then. Let's shoot that thing. Hmm, let's move you up a little bit. And we're gonna shoot that guy probably. Yeah, let's take him out. Alright, Death Ray is going to be on the Mason Cannon when I get up there. Can you hit it here? Nope. Alright, it's not gonna be on the Mason Cannon quite yet, but soon! Very soon. Nothing there. Let's shoot the... Can I shoot the... Nope. Can I move forward a little bit? A little bit. There, right, now I can shoot the mason cannon. We'll start picking that off little by little. And when the robots all move forward, we'll just start killing them all off. Which they're all doing right now. And then there's two heavy dudes here. I'm gonna move you up one step. And then we're gonna very carefully shoot those two. Almost killed all of them. Let's finish off a couple. That one. Excellent, one down. Let's take down this one. That thing is still charging, but it's definitely gonna get a shot off this time, I think. Let's move forward to about here. And shoot it now. Nope. So shoot that thing. Um, he can shoot twice, and I need him to kill both of these, so. Kill that one, and then this one. Perfect. That couldn't have gone better. There's still an industrial work bot, but for the most part, we've killed all of the robots in the way. Um, we're gonna start laying into the mason cannon now. Oh, there's one more worker. I didn't even notice him. At least, uh, Lux Canyon is doing damage or something. Come up here and accept the Mason Cannon hit. It's gonna hurt. Guaranteed. There we oh, it's still charging. Maybe we can take it down in time. Move up. Can you shoot it yet? Damn, that thing must have some serious range or something like that. I want you up there. Can I shoot him? No, so we're gonna ambush, I guess. You're fine, like Scanium. Just, yeah, whatever, you're fine. Whatever, you're not gonna do much. Cannon's getting close to being dead, but I don't know if we're going to do it in time. It's a possibility. It's going to be a close one. Oh no, here we go, it's firing. That wasn't that bad. I mean, it's 100 damage, which isn't great, but... There have been worse hits in life. Not quite dead, but he can finish it. After getting hit, he probably wants some revenge. And let's finish off the cannon. Oh, come on. Boom. 
Everybody gained some levels that needed to. Well, except for Adama and Starbuck, but whatever. But most of our people are back to relatively full health, and we found some stuff. We sure I should have actually given that ammo to the right person. Ah, whatever, he's got tons. Like, we got so much ammo now, I just I don't know what to do with it at all. I'm carting around like 50 pounds of ammo on each person or more. Now this is a big door, how do we get into it? Oh, we just opened it. They didn't bother to lock their giant blast door. Alright, we're gonna travel upstairs, here we go. Why can't we go in? There we go. Everybody in, let's go. Okay, somebody just go to the new Citadel location, because I don't want to wait for everyone to get through the giant door, which is apparently very slow for no reason. Damn. Rangers are hard to kill. I am hard to kill. Well, you will not jeopardize this invasion. That sounds like a challenge. I will take care of you myself. That is a challenge. Score Patron, assist me. A what? What is a Score Patron? Wow, actually, he's really hard. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that's the thing from the cover screen. Nice. What the hell are those things? A mini Scorpatrons. Wow, we are getting pounded on in the beginning of this fight. Oh, now you obey my commands. Super. Um, punch that guy. Okay. That thing has a lot of life. It hits quite hard. What do I have for weapons kicking around? Do I have any rocket launchers? I do. We're gonna use it. It seems like a good time to use a giant rocket launcher and take out... What do you mean? Oh, I didn't save enough AP. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, don't shoot that thing. The mason cannon isn't a huge concern of mine right now. What is, is the fact that we need to blow up Dugan right now, this very second. So, I don't need him laying into my guys with that really ridiculous rock or, uh, machine gun he has. So let's just take care of him. And now he's dead. Alright. Move away from the rest of the group. We're going to start shooting this thing. I bet it has tons of armor, and it does. And let's shoot the worker bot. And again, the worker bot, I think. Yes, let's kill that off. And then start shooting these things. That thing. I wonder if I should shoot the Scorpatron or the Mason Cannon. He's down for the count. Whoa, those things do a lot of damage. Okay, we're gonna back up a step. Or two. There we go, that took care of all of those. And we're gonna finish off the worker bot as well. Alright, um... Now the Mason Cannon, I think we're going to go with the Scorpatron. The Mason Cannon does a lot of upright damage, yes. But that thing has just tons of life. Or maybe we should kill the Mason Cannon. I don't know. I'm at a loss on that one. Uh, we are going to bring back Lexicanium. We really should have bought more... Um, What are they called? Trauma kits. Okay, we're gonna try and kill this thing. The chain gun isn't that bad. I think it's going to be the Mesa cannon that does more damage overall. Even though it's a slower shooting thing. We should be able to finish it off. In time, hopefully. 
Looks like Candium has a bit of a headache, but at least he's alive. What's he doing? Oh, he's shooting more of the... I see, he continually summons those spiders. Maybe we should be killing him. Because those spiders are ultra annoying and they do tons of damage. Um... Okay, who do we have? We have Galen, who can shoot two of them. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Mason Cannon is gone. I'm gonna move you here and you're gonna shoot two of them. Mr. Dragon Claws, you're gonna come up and try and punch that thing in the face. Or you're gonna get hit by those things. One of the two. Thank you for blowing up your own things. That's awesome. I think that thing helped me out more than anything. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Also, this thing has a ton of hit points. Uh, nope. Don't want to kill my own person. Scorpitron! The thing from the cover of the game is going down. He did a lot of damage on that one hit. Um, so we're about a half. Oh, I should have reloaded. That was dumb. Oh, well. Thousand left. Nine hundred and thirty. Flamethrower. That hurt a bit. But it shouldn't matter. I think this fight's gonna be over pretty soon here. I'm okay with that attack. No, no, not the... Yeah, it's doing the thing. Shit. Okay, what do we got? Galen's up next, he needs to reload. Is this other weapon? He doesn't have one. Okay, reload. And turn. Punch that thing. They do a lot of damage. Ow. Adam is bleeding out. That's not great. Um. Death ray that. At least it blew up its own thing again. Kind of nice of it. Somebody's near death, like really near death. Oh, it's Adama. Okay, well, there's not all I can do about that quite yet. Alright, Galen, it's up to you. Oh, you're not gonna do it. It's really unfortunate. Okay, you're good. You're just fine. Okay, we need to heal up Gadama right now. Okay, okay, let's heal up Galen as well. He's really hurt. That was a lot of experience we got. 1650 for that. And Durgan died. Uh, we don't need to heal her. She's got a level. Things are looking pretty good for us, I think. And we'll call in the level. We're nearly, we must be nearly done. These are like the end boss guys, so. Um, some Spectrum Assault Vests. I don't think we're going to use any of that, but we're going to take the ammo, for sure. And the 50 cal would be nice. We'll take the Dowsing Rod. And the Med Packs, which I really need to upgrade his, oops, I should have just ignored that. Oh well. Okay, we're not going to take the armor. We are going to check on 
whose skills was it I needed to do? Oh, right, um, his field medic skill needs to be way better. So I can use the really good set, which I think are these, yeah. Okay. Quick save. And now there's a helicopter for us to take. I think we're going back to Arizona, guys. Moment of truth. It's, hel it's helicopter time. Yes, we are ready to go. I'm so excited. I want to see how this ends. I'm really, like, stoked for the ending right now. Hell of a welcome home, ain't it, Rangers? Yes, I would say it is. Now, how do you feel about making up for not stopping this robot rodeo back in Los Angeles? What do you have in mind, sir? Well, we sent word to our allies and pulled together a combined strike team to take back the Citadel. But we need a spearhead, an experienced squad who's faced these bastards before and lived to tell. I'm afraid you're the only team that fits the bill. Also, if you'll have me, I want to sign on with your team. You'll still be given the orders, but this Matthias character has made it personal, and I want a chance at taking his head. You okay with that? Yes, Thank sir. You, Rangers. Ready when you are. Very good, Team Echo. Let's get those bastards. He has 310 hit points, and he does pretty decent damage. He's not actually on our team, on our team, but... I thought we had to replace, like, a group member for him, but I guess not. Hey, is there, like, a shop person? Also, we can probably... Who's that? Is that Angela Death? I think that might be Angela. The battle-worn ranger looks tired and scared, shivering and muttering under their breath. I ain't going nowhere near them again. I'll take for care of the folks here, but I'm staying the fuck away from them. Heal me then. Let's do this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Where's a store? Is there a store here? I could really, really use some selling things. Aha! Store! Perfect. Yes, Fred Dervis. I don't... Yeah, you're good. What are you? Oh, just anti-material rifle. Okay. So, we can sell all junk. Let's look at our full inventory here. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna keep one of each thing at this point in the game, because I really don't think we're gonna get any special stuff that we're gonna need to upgrade drastically. Um, we can get rid of two dowsing rods. Get rid of all the leather jackets in the world that we have. And get rid of the, at least two of those polys. Keep that. We'll keep the hard ass star just because it's cool. I might throw laser sights on some of my guns. I think everyone that can use a laser sight pretty much has them though at this point. Um, we're gonna sell that. And we're going to keep the Dragoon, we're going to mod it up. Alright, now what do we want in return? Is the question. One of those, and another one of those. Those are really useful, they do, what, 500 damage, 10 armor pen? That is nothing to complain about. And, uh, how's our ammo looking? We got lots. Hmm, that's not the right kind of ammo. That is. We'll get more of that. We have tons of energy cells, tons of shotgun shells. Bunch of 50 cal. Um, he could use some more 45. He doesn't need them. He has some medic packs on him though, so he can heal as well. But I don't think he's the healer, is he? Like Thomas is the healer. So we'll give those to him. Oh, we have trauma kits sitting around. Look at that. Do they sell trauma kits here? We'll grab some of those too while we're at it. And uh, we'll grab a bunch. Just in case. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Let's trade. We're paying 400 bucks for all that stuff. Goodbye. Alright, Fred. 
Thank you for your sales. We'll keep that around. Um, we're going to give this to Galen and mod it because I want to put it on Starbuck, I think. So we're going to put a laser sight on it. It's 50 cal rounds, right? Yeah, okay. Um, we're going to put a high capacity mag on it so we don't have to reload very often. A long barrel. And some sort of tactical scope. Did I put one on? I did not. Oops, no. Full choke. Tactical no. There we go, tactical scope. Attach mod. Alright, let's give that to Starbuck. It only has five shots. But it hits for 140 at least every time. And 37% chance crit. So it's the same crit chance. Alright, let's take all this stuff off. Uh, yep, 100%. 75% is good enough. Oh, whatever. We lost it. We're not gonna worry about it because I don't think we need laser sights that much anymore. Alright, I think we're good to go now. There's a dead thing here. And there's a whole bunch of random... Oh, a trauma kit. Nice. Let's go see what we can gather from these boxes. The three, which is a heavy weapon. And it's very, very nice, and I wish I had a heavy weapon person to use it, but I don't. So we're going to give it to Gaius. And the reason we're going to give it to Gaius is Gaius has a bunch of skill points, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Oh, that sucks. I was going to hopefully give him the thing to do stuff with. Alright, who has inventory room? Adama does. If I ever get enough to use it effectively with Gaius, I'll use it, but we won't hold our breath. Um, what's in here? Just some ammo. Alright. What else is around in terms of boxes and goodies? There's a box here. And it has a med pack in it. Excellent. Okay, I think we're almost ready to head in. I don't really have anything else planned, so let's charge the gates. Rangers, glad to see you guys are back. Oh my. Can you take much. Oh, oh, dude. What is that? Is that another scorcher? It's a scorcher. Okay, now uh, let's get in position. We're also going to quick save because I don't want to die. Um, you can come up here. I need you back here. Like right there. And we're going to grab you guys. Actually, first off, what's on the body again? Some scrap. A ring of some sort, which does kiss-ass skill. Another ranger star. So just junk. Okay, okay we're going to quick save. You, 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 and you. You're going to start us out. 600 damage right off the bat. Nice. You're going to stay right there for now, and so are you. No, what? No! You... Fool! 280 points of damage for Thrace, which is nice. Really nice. Vargas, if you die, I swear to god I'm going to kill you again. I will bring you back to life so I can kill you again. Ah, uh, come up here. Right there. That's good. 20 damage isn't bad. 40 damage, that's still okay. Damn, that's a nice shot. Uh, alright, go ahead. Might as well, we can always heal right after this fight anyways. Galen's going up. Wow, he actually hits really hard. Alright. Another 280 points of damage. We're just, you know, just killing this thing. It's awesome. What are we at? That's fine. Does it do the stupid? Sp it does. Oh, how annoying. The game likes its ads, that's for sure. Ow. Um. We're not going to waste any of our anti-material shots on 
stupid little things. We'll just go punch them. There we go. Most of them are dead. The Dragoon is definitely not going to be shooting at those. Neither is Adama. Guy is still taking damage, but that's okay. You're fine. Shoot that thing. You're coming back to shoot this thing. There we go. Flamethrower. Vargas is fine still. Luckily. <laughs> Just punches it for 100 damage. I like how he's under our control again, though. That's kind of nice. Maybe he realized that he should probably, you know, be a team player. It's so close to dying. Come on, you can do it. That was an experience for that. Nice. Alright, actually we didn't get damaged that badly, to be honest. We lost the dude though, he just turned around at the wrong time. And there's a Mad Magazine. MacGyver Tape. You know what, we don't need any of this crap, actually. Especially not the AK-47. But the Med Pack's okay, so we'll take it. Alright, that's it. Goodbye. Alright, let's go... do we need to heal? I guess we need to heal a little. And it's free, so... might as well. We'll heal really quick and we'll continue into the base. This is getting exhilarating. We're nearing the end. Come on, let me talk. Talk to me, healer. I need you to heal my group. Why won't you talk to me? Oh. Hoppy and Maggie give you a grin as you approach. They're both kitted out with garage built armor and crazy kit bash guns. Hiya, Haas. Heard you're having a little robot problem since you helped us with ours. We thought we'd help you with yours. We appreciate the help, and lead the way. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Let you come with us. Why won't you heal me? Oh, well, we don't need it. We're fine, I guess. Whatever. Who are you? Oh, Merc-Captain, right. Storming the Citadel one last time, eh? Very good. I was able to grab a couple drinks before the evacuation. I've outfitted the folks who showed up in response to our distress call, but everything else is yours. Hope they help. Thank you, Captain. What did we get? Oh, we already picked it all up. <laughs> Jen and mutants. Jen from Darwin Village stands with a handful of other mutants. They look uneasy, but determined. You kept your promise to us, Rangers. You kept our existence a secret. And truth be told, we would rather have remained hidden. But we could not step by unless such honorable humans die alone. We have come out of the shadows to help you, Rangers. Use us as you will. We're honored, thanks. Alright, everyone. Who are you now? These are all the people. I'm afraid I'm still not much help in a fight, but I brought plenty of supplies from home, including some new energy water we've been developing. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate anything you can give us. Here, give these a guzzle. Alright, thanks. Before you go, my friends here are interested in helping out. Do you want them with you or guarding the camp? Uh, stay and guard the camp. And who else do we got? Kekaba! Kekaba waits grim and grizzled with a fireman's axe hanging from his single hand. His choppers are lined up behind him. I don't see anybody, but that's okay. We are here, Rangers, as you were here for us against the Atchison's. One hand helps the other. Show us the enemy. We are ready. Thank you. Are you sure? What honor demands? No man may turn away from. May we follow you into battle? Yeah, absolutely. Do it. Alright, I guess that's all of our allies. We didn't really make any other ones. Oh, Jill Yates and uh, Bart. Jill and Bart with some cowboys. Jill tips her hat. Howdy, Rangers. Wish we was meeting again under better circumstances, but that slight ain't it. Me and Bart and the boys really appreciated y'all done for us in DeMonta and the canyon, and we wanted to return the favor. You need us. Put us to work. We're your deal. Go. Bart's a keen shot for sure. I ain't no sludge neither. Can we join ya? Yes, you can. Let's go, everybody. We are good. Alright, let's do this thing. We have a whole group of people that are coming with us, apparently. a lot of people waiting. Sorry, Ranger. The Citadel will not fall to you again. They will. You've already denied humanity its destined perfection once. I won't let you do it twice. 
Well, I'm not going to give you much ago, of a choice. The Guardians and the base code chiefs, AI, created the first true synthesis of man and machine. Erwin John Finster. Okay. He wasn't perfect, but he was a beginner. A triumph of science. A beacon for the future of humanity. And shot to pieces by a bunch of savages wearing tin stars. Just like I'm going to do to you. There was still hope. And that hope was me. The next iteration. With all the imperfections that had made Finster unstable. Correct. All that was left to do was install the final upgrade. The protocol that would allow me to link my mind with others of my kind and combine our intelligences so the walls will have always divided one human from another would finally be torn down. You're an idiot. No one would ever be lonely again. We would all be one. And it would be wonderful. Sadly, that's where you came. The very day I was to have become the first true exalted. You came with your guns and your grenades and murdered the Guardian. Destroyed the base Cochise AI and stole my golden future. But now I am once again on the brink. The AI you thought you destroyed copied itself in the Citadel mainframe. Hidden right behind your pathetic human nose. Now, I am copying it directly into my brain. Once the download completes, the AI will grant me my transcendence. You and your allies will be granted your death. And Earth's golden future will finally begin. Humanity has had its chance. The exalted term now. Time for you to go. Wrong. Alright, we're gonna save here though. We are out of time on this video. In the next one, we will storm the rest of the base and we will end this battle for humanity. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.